Thanks for listening to our lessons from our daily Bible reading. The lesson today is, you can't do that. There ain't any way you're going to make it as a preacher. Hmm. I've heard that one before. You know, you, you'll never be able to be a deacon. You'll never be able to be a deacon's wife. You'll never be an elder, an elder's wife. You can't be a Bible class teacher. You can't live that Christian life. Nobody can do those things. You're going to fail if you try to live as a Christian, as you call it. Nobody can follow God in this world. You know, you hear all sorts of things as people try to tear you down because you're seeking to serve God in whatever capacity it is. Every one of us is important. Every one of us has abilities. You know, the Lord, Matthew 25, talked about the parable of the talents. Each one of us is blessed with abilities we have, and God just wants us to use what we have. But the world looks, and they try to belittle Christian living, Christian action, Christian zeal, and they tell you there's no way it's going to work. Well, in our reading Friday in Psalm 3, you find David faced just such a thing. He said, Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many they are that rise up against me. Many they are that say in my soul, there's no help for him in God. In other words, David, you're not going to make it. It's supposed that this psalm was written whenever he was having to flee from Absalom. He is trying to do good, trying to do right in the presence of unbelievable struggles. But the world looked at him. Those about him looked at him and said, you'll never make it. But David had a response. And it wasn't to quit doing what he should or to quit pressing forward, to quit trying, to quit trying to be better. He says, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of mine head. I cried to the Lord with my voice. He heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I waked for the Lord sustained me. You look and he had that mindset of, one person I, I used to know, he's passed away now, but he used to be fond of saying, let go and let God. In other words, the struggles in this life, the challenges that the world says you can't do it, sometimes you just let go of what they say, forget about the, the naysayers, and cast your cares on God, and then press on. David didn't stop. We don't stop either if we have the trust that God had. It begins with a life that's committed to him, and a prayer that's offered. I pray that you have a good day, and you will. You'll be an amazing individual doing what you're capable of in service to God, no matter what others around you say, because you trust God. And whenever the struggles get great, cast your cares on him, lay down and sleep, and be assured you'll awake, for the Lord sustains us. Thanks for listening. Thank you again for joining us in this Bible study. We remind you, if you'd like to follow along in our daily Bible reading, the link below in the description of this video will give you the PDF so you can read right along with us. If you have any other questions or if you'd like information on a Bible study, contact us with the information provided on the screen before you.